Hey everyone, welcome back to another week, weekly reaction of My Hero Academia, chapter 213. 213. Ah, whatever. This week, uh, last week we left off with uh, Midoriya meeting what I believe is either number two or number five of the One for All Bearers. This is my second time attempting this. First one was uh, interrupted. Um, I've only read like the first two pages of it, but um, second, first recording how to get scrapped. Anyway, this week I'm really excited. Last week we left off with uh, Shinzo and Uraraka uh, getting Midoriya under control, under Shinzo's mind control, and then he met the new, bear, the other previous bearer, another previous bearer, and left left off with. Uh, like the cliffhanger, like the little title section, little ending note from Horikoshi was like, one of the previous bears from One for All is funky. And I like this guy. I like him a lot. I like his design. I like that he's a high energy dude. Anyway, let's jump in now. Try harder, dude. If you do, well, things have a way of working out. Positive. My Hero Academia, Chapter 213, Location of the Soul by Horikoshi Kohei. I don't have a mouth, so I can't answer. Oh, you got no mouth, eh? Don't worry about it. I can see him so clearly. This is m way more than just a vestige now. And it's not a dream either. This person, these people are actually alive inside one for all. And it's a quick shot of like the fire that is one for all. And it's got previous hold, the first holder, one all for one's brother, uh, Nana Shimura, who is number seven, the guy who's with Midoriya right now, um, the guy who kind of has like I believe it's like a, a cape, like a cloak of some sorts, the guy who looks like best genus, All Might's right there, but because he's still alive, he's not. He's kind of just like still like part of flame. And then there's two shadowed out figures. So is that? Yeah, that's eight. All eight previous bears of one for all. Ah, oh, and the guy's disappearing. That stinks. Huh? Looks like I'm on a time limit here. All right. Listen up, kid. The power you just need to use is my quirk! Oh, man. Yes. Oh, the power you just used is my quirk. Yes. Midoriya has access to the previous quirks, too. Oh. Oh, my God. That's right. This guy has to be number two then, because up until now, Midoriya has only interacted with All Might and um, and the first bearer. All Might said he was quirkless before, so he didn't. Midoriya didn't have another quirk to have access to, and the only other quirk that the first bearer had was freaking was the ability to pass on a quirk, and that's and because uh, his quirk merged with the stockpiling power that all for one gave him yes yes other quirks this guy has to be number two i'm calling it he has to be the second bearer come on give me your name the power you just use is my quirk our fact our quirk factors merged with the core of this power and have been inside one for all for a long time and all might never use them one for all is growing. I, I remember that line. Our quirk factors merge with the core of this power and have been inside one for all for a long time. And it's, it's a very tiny core, like a small point inside a flickering ember, or perhaps on the surface, a ripple a rip, of rippling water. And that kind of looks like uh, all for one's brother. It's kind of hard because it's not showing his face, but he has like the same hairstyle. And it's just Midoriya like, what? Its origin of, it's the origin of the power concealed by cult, by the cultivated power. As of right now, that core has begun, qu it's quickening. It's expanding and growing larger. What you occasionally see is the intervals between these fluctuations. One for all itself is growing. This is so awesome. And it's another shot of like Midoriya's first flashback when he was at the sports festival when he fought Shinzo. It's growing. But why? What caused? 
us this. Just now, you were thinking, I'm going to capture him or grab him. You were, weren't you? I know you were. I was thinking about capturing Monomakun. Oh, man! I love this guy. This guy is so legit. And my quirk, Black Whip, fits those feelings perfectly. You're lucky that I was the first one. This here's a great, a great quirk, I'll have you know. I was the first one. So, I, I didn't watch the video, but when I was back home, I saw a, uh, a, a thumbnail for a YouTube video, one for all, it, one for all the Avatar State or something like that. And this is really cool because, like, Midoriya can, like, Aang would call upon previous bearers. And, like, it, I, I, clearly we don't know everything yet. This, like, we're, we're just getting this information now. But this guy's like, you're lucky I was the first one here. So it's like the other bearers can come to Midoriya. They can hear Midoriya. It, it seems like Black Whip, this guy is legit. Give me your name, please. Okay, so he's saying that he was the first one here. So he might not be the second bearer. But I, I'm still going to hold on to that. I'm still, I'm still saying he's the bearer. And then, so he's, like, just holding out. And like I said, it's kind of like, it, it reminds me a lot of how, like, Venom is in Marvel Comics. It's kind of got, like, a, a twisted, demented kind of look to it. Really cool quirk, though. However, the power being accumulated within One for All has also been added to this quirk. That's right. Um, like All Might said, if Toshinori got One for All, not, not Toshinori, damn it. If Todoroki got One for All, it would definitely increase his quirk. And Midori and All Might already has the strength to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one for all. So I wonder, is it automatically that, pow that power? Well, it must be because, like when he first got one for all, Midoriya lost control. So he does this mean that Midoriya is going to have to learn, have to go from five per like 1% to like 5% for every single one of these quirks? Oh man, this is so intense. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really geeking out right now, guys. Okay. However, the power being accumulated within One for All has also been added to this quirk, which means it's basically, it's been drastically strengthened compared to when I was using it. Ah. And then he's disappearing even more. Whoops, I'm vanishing. I'm starting to feel all floaty. You see, I only exist inside your heart. Ah, uh, don't tell me he's gone now. Don't tell me he's gone forever. Like, like when Minato, when he was, like, kind of appeared inside Naruto to be like, hey, I'm gonna fix this one last time. It's up to you from now on, son. I hope, I hope he's not gone forever. I, I, I'm pretty sure he's not. Remember, if you wield your power in anger, the power will respond accordingly. And then it's Midoriya back when he was facing Monoma. Given that he's the one for spons for responsible for bringing the end of the symbol of peace. What's important is always be in control of your heart. It's fine to get angry. Angry is, is one source of power. And that's exactly why you must have careful, extreme control over that anger. Now that it's been handled down through eight people, one for all has become enormously powerful. So listen here, boy! From here on out, you're going to manifest six different quirks! Oh, yes, because I said earlier, uh, first bearer, um, uh, power, his quirk, passing his quirk to another person. All Might doesn't have a quirk. Midoriya doesn't have a quirk. That's nine of the, that's three of the nine users, meaning that there are six others, six other quirks. How is this going to work? Like, Midoriya is going to need to go into hiding at one point. Like, everyone's going to, at some point, everyone's going to find out. I have no doubt that everyone, everyone is going to know about One for All because of this. Midoriya is going to have to keep his quirk secret. So listen here, boy. From here on out, you're going to manifest six different quirks. Control your heart and do your best, boy. We're with you. And master, and master, control your heart and master us. 
You're going to be the one who completes one for all. Who completes it? And then, page nine. Deku! Deku! And then Midoriya's back and Uraraka's holding him. Are you alright? Did my slap hurt? <laughs> she slapped him! U U Uraraka! Get away from me! It's danger! And then he's under control now. We were able to calm it down with Shinzo's brainwashing. Is everything good? Uraka, you're hurt. What have I done? And then... It's Monoma. And then it's Monoma sneaking up. He's got a big old screw and he's ready He's ready to touch Midoriya. Don't do it. And then Midoriya... Hello! We're not done here, you know? And... He like does it like a swipe and I wonder... Did Monoma touch Midoriya? Monoma! Wait a minute, would you? And then it's Uraraka again. Gunhead martial arts. Nice. She goes for Monoma. And he sends like more debris towards her. Oh, did he... Did he grab... Did he like touch Uraraka? I wonder if he has her quirk right now. Oh, it's... I forget what her name is. Are, are you two alright? What was that just now? Nice, poltergeist! Thanks to all that black stuff shooting everywhere, everywhere, our plan got ruined. Mm. Ow! Ah! And then Ashido and, and Mineta are back. Midoriya! Uraraka, are you okay? Everyone's together! Okay. It's a melee! And then we have Ashido blocking... I... Because it's been a while, I have no idea what any of Class B's names are, except for Monoma and Shizo. But Ashido is taking on the guy who was on Shizo's team for the sports festival. And Mineta... That's a freaking hilarious shot of Mineta. It's like he's doing a limbo with his head, like, tilted back. And then Poltergeist, I believe Monoma said it was her hero name, is, like, throwing stuff at them. And he's, like, trying to avoid everything. And... Then it's Midoriya and Uraraka, like where they were. If you wield your power in anger, the power will respond accordingly. What's important is always being in control of your heart. And then it's Shinzo going for Uraraka, and he grabs and he grabs the. So Shinzo is going with uh, Aizawa's like scarf, and then Midoriya grabs it. One for all. I've got so much in my head right now, I can hardly think. I can't allow myself to hurt anyone ever again. What should we do, Eraser? All Might. Let's keep watching for a bit. Aizawa, are you? The fifth set shall continue. So everyone was going to stop it. We have Vlad King, Aizawa, and uh, All Might. Like, they were ready to, like, go and stop everyone. But Aizawa was like, Midoriya seems to be in control now. And last shot is Shinzo, like, with his scarf, like, because he was about to pull Uraraka. And then Midoriya, who just caught it. And the rematch is here. The fifth set shall continue. Next issue crashing with a center color. Oh, cool, we're going to get a color spread next chapter. My Hero Academia, chapter 213, end. Six different quirks that Midoriya is going to have to master. He really is a shonen protagonist, isn't he? <laughs> Super sad that we didn't get to know uh, the other guy's name or which bear he was. Really cool that we got to see his whip, though. Or his quirk. Black Whip. Is that what it was called? Black Whip? Let me go back real quick. Black Whip. Yep. And I love how this looks. It looks so freaking cool. I can't... I'm fairly certain that the anime for Season 4... We have to wait until October. Anyway. I I believe that the anime is going to go to to this arc. Uh, class A versus Class B. Uh, joint Training, I believe it was called. I think this would be a great cliffhanger uh, to... Or great... Once it, once it finishes, I assume will be a great cliffhanger arc to, or great arc to both, like, wrap everything up for Season 4, 
but also um, like leave a cliffhanger, you know? Like don't do it like for the fifth set, like finish that. But they, they could also do it with the pro hero arc, uh, where it was um, Endeavor and Hawks. You know, like it's we leave off with Hawks uh, reveal. We could leave off with Hawks reveal that he's working with the League of Villains for the government. That could also be a cliffhanger because, as far as I'm aware, all scenes of Hero Aka ended with the villains. I forget how season one ends specifically, but season two ended with uh, an interview with Midoriya, where, what is his name? Shigaraki finds Midoriya at the mall. Um, like, that was right before the training camp. And then season three, we left off with Overhaul meeting... Um, with League of Villains and with Shigaraki in them. So maybe season four could end off with Hawks and Endeavor's arc, but I really hope it ends with the joint training arc because I do not want to wait another two years. Well, not two years, but I don't want to wait two years to see this arc animated because this arc is going to be so freaking amazing. We're going to, this arc has been so freaking amazing. But anyway, I'm really sad we didn't get to learn his name, but still a fantastic, fantastic chapter nonetheless. Really fantastic. Uh, that'll be it for this week's video. Next week, Midoriya versus Shinzo, the rematch. Clearly, I want. Oh my God! I just thought of something. If Midoriya uses, if Midoriya uses, uh, let's call him Funkadelic for now. If Midoriya uses Funkadelic's quirk in this, like, in this fight, like, if he, like, somehow is like, okay, I have another quirk, let's try it out. If he uses it in this arc, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be whip versus whip, essentially, like, like, restrainer versus restrainer, like, Shinzo has the binding cloth, Midoriya has black whip. Oh, man. It's gonna be intense. I'm really excited. Like... I'm sorry, I don't care for anything else right now. I just want, like, Class B can, like, take care of everyone in Class A, or, you know, Class A can take care of everyone in Class B off screen. I don't care about that. Make that the anime filler. Um, just focus on Shinzo and Midoriya, man. Anyway, rambling, as always. See you guys next week for another fantastic chapter, because you know it's going to be one. See you then.